Hi friends, welcome to Kitchen Princess Bamboo Japanese Everyday Food. I am working on the requested series this month and this is the third. Thank you very much for your request. Today I will be showing how to make candied sweet potato in Japanese, Daigaku Imo. Crusty on the outside, soft and moist, and almost creamy inside. The contrast is the signature of the recipe. If you have a vegetarian friend, enjoy with them. Let's get started. Scrub the potatoes well and cut into half an inch rectangle stick. Soak in water as soon as it cut to prevent from darkening and to remove excess starch. Pour a generous amount of oil into a frying pan and let your sweet potato in. You don't have to pat the excess water. Put the lid on and turn the heat to medium. After about 5 minutes, the steam comes from the potato. Stick to the lid. Slowly slide the lid. Be careful not to drop the water into the oil. Wipe off the lid. Repeat the process a couple of times and your sweet potato is fully cooked. When you cook the sweet potato, cold starch is crucial to get the best result. The conversion of starch into sugar becomes most active on 70 degrees Celsius. When you start cooking on low, your sweet potato will get through the temperature slowly. That makes your sweet potato at the maximum sweetness. Test by using a skewer. If it's good, take the potatoes out onto a wire rack. Heat the oil at high and double fry for a few seconds until outside is crispy. Drain the oil and wipe the pan with paper towel. Add a tablespoon of oil and turn on the heat to medium. Add sugar and salt. Cook until the sugar dissolves. Do not stir, just swirl the pan to cook evenly. If you stir, your sugar will crystallize and the texture is sandy. When the syrup is lightly brown, the sweet potato goes in. Reduce the heat to low and toss to coat. Take your time to coat as evenly as you can. Once you're happy with it, transfer to a parchment lined tray and let them cool. Crusty on the outside, soft and moist, and almost creamy inside. The contrast is the signature of the recipe. If you have a vegetarian friend, enjoy with them. The sugar crust will last about a half day. The next day, the sugar crust melts and becomes a syrup. But it is good as well. Just give it a try. It tastes so good. Thank you for watching the video. Please thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have any questions or future video requests, feel free to leave in the comment section below. Thanks again and see you in a week. Bye!